Not terrible. I've never, I don't think I've ever had it on this angle before. Hi, good morning. Oh, I don't like this angle because I don't like this side of my face. Mm, problems, problems. But anyway, hi, good morning. It is Saturday, September 4th, I believe. So as you saw, I went to Starbucks. I'm really a Duncan person I've noticed I'm very much a Duncan girl and there is no Duncan around me there is one like 20 minutes away right across from where I work so that's convenient but it's not convenient for the weekends that can we just like take a moment to realize that okay hold on we need to talk about the issue of my morning I am not a morning person and I knew that I had a three-day weekend and today I have a photo shoot later at like 5 30 and so I was like okay Saturday is the only day that I can literally do anything because it's the only day that anything is open so I was like okay let me call the oil change place that I literally always go to and let me see what time they open and this is at like 7 40 that I'm calling and they're like oh, yeah you know our guys get here at 8 just come by early so that you can you know get a spot because they don't take appointments so I get there a little past 8 I'm like the second one in line and uh it'll they said it'd take like an hour and then I, they then and then they'd be done because for some odd reason in California at most places, they make you wait outside to do an oil change. Where in Michigan, they don't, which is just weird that you have to, like, not be in your car for an oil change. It should be super fast and quick, but whatever. So then I'm, you know, walking down, as you can see, to Starbucks to get breakfast. Because I'm like, oh, it's, you know, a quiet, chill Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I am not a morning person, so I need coffee. I do not ever wake up at 8 a.m. on a weekend. But then I told myself when I woke up, I was like, okay, I literally have two more days where I can sleep in, where I have literally nothing else to do. So today we're just going to do the things and we're going to be productive, wake up at 8 a.m. It's 9.30 in the morning and I did not get an oil change. Oh yeah, I'm in my car and I didn't get an oil change. Why? Because I was sitting down, eating my breakfast, having a good time, and they call me and they're like, so I kind of have some bad news. We're not going to be able to get to your oil change today because one of the hydraulics or something burst in the the car wash next door and one of and our oil change guy had to go over and fix it. So I had to walk all the way back, pick up my car. Here we are. I still don't have an oil change. I don't go anywhere else because that's the only place I go to because I'm stubborn and I know that they do a good job and I'm very iffy with trusting people to do things. Now I have to wait until next weekend and I have to wake up at 8 a.m. next weekend too. So yay. Can't wait for that. Um, and now I am at Revivals. I'm going to pick up some things or see if I can pick up some things. Okay, I just got back from a different revivals. I got a lot of stuff. I got like four shirts and three books for $20 and I still didn't find what I was looking for. So I'm gonna go to the other one that I was at, that there was a line at. They're actually really busy and I'm surprised, but everyone should thrift. And if you wanna know why you should thrift, why it's a good thing to thrift, you should go check out episode three of Color Me Green on YouTube or wherever you find podcasts. <music> I 
this. I'm done. I, that's the last revivals near me. I can't go to any more. I've done some damage. Well, not really. I've only spent like 50 bucks. But for the amount of stuff I got, love thrifting. Highly recommend. Okay, so um, I went thrifting. I got two bags of stuff and a big thing. So let's see what I got. I'm gonna do a little haul for ya. Don't mind all of Mariah's toys. And she's also gonna be playing in the background, so don't mind that either. Okay, so let's start with the books that I got. I went to two revivals. Revivals is just a, it's like a Goodwill, but in the desert. And they have like new things and it's very confusing, but like I'm obsessed with it. So, okay. Let's start with the first store. At the first revivals, I got three books. I got one called The History of Living Forever. And it's, I think about this teacher who has, he has like this thing where he has figured out how to live forever. And then one of his students like finds his old journals or something. And after like he dies, but yeah, it seems really interesting. So all of their, their hardcover books are only $2, so got a few. And then I got these Supernatural Enchantments. This one seemed really interesting too. It's about this guy, yeah, this guy who inherits a house that is apparently haunted and his family has died in it or something so i don't know it's, it seems really interesting so that i got that one and i love the way that the cover feels i don't know how to describe it and then i also got magpie murders um it's about this girl who works for a best-selling crime author who also writes about like real life crimes or something and it seemed interesting so those are the three books that i got at the first one and at the second store i got unbury carol and this is about this girl who like lives forever but she like keeps dying but then coming back to life or something and then her husband tries to like he married her for her money and he tries to bury her after she goes into a coma and like then obviously she can't die so he like tries to bury her alive and then like take her money or whatever so this one seemed really interesting these are the four books i got two four six only eight dollars eight dollars for all of these books yeah <laughs> thrifting's great and then obviously i had to get some clothes which i didn't have to but i did you can't just not go thrifting and not get clothes okay so at the first store i got this cute sweater it's just kind of like loose it's got like the loose arms and then it's tight so um i really loved that and then i thought this was like super cute with like some high-waisted jeans this little zip up i love dark green obviously it's my color of my chairs my pillows I love green so i'm supposed to dress like business casual so i found this cute little button-up shirt long sleeve it kind of reminded me of cruella de vil but i thought it would look cute with my look my i think they're not are they loafers they're not loafers i don't know what they're called but like i got them at target a few weeks ago and like those with this and some high-rise jeans would be so cute and then i'm very into like the blazer thing so but like without being a blazer i thought this was super cute it's literally like a blazer but i think it's a little thinner so i thought that this with like um like a tank top or something with some high-rise jeans and those same shoes would be super cute and then at the second store i got two things i'm in love with high-rise jeans but i'm not a fan of bootleg boot cut jeans which are the jeans that everybody wears these days because you're if you're a millennial you're like old for wearing skinny jeans oh well i'm not gonna stop i've worn them forever and not gonna stop now they look good on me sorry but i got some levi's these were 15 dollars. they're high rise skinny jeans love them um i hope they fit um because i 
didn't get to try them on but either way they were levi's for 15 dollars, so not gonna complain and they're in really good condition and then oh my god this last one i don't know where i'm gonna wear this but i'm obsessed with it it's apparently from shein which is the very first thing that i now have from shein but i saw it and obviously it's dark green so i had to get it um it's like this long sleeve button is that button down button down jumpsuit it has it has pockets and it's just like a long sleeve jumpsuit it's kind of um got this little fold down at the ankles and then it's got this little belt i thought that this was adorable and it's like a silky material i'm literally obsessed with it so that's what i got clothes and books wise and then for and then for $32, I got this really nice mirror. It is kind of a little chipped in some places, but it's kind of, it, it, make, it gives a character. It's also a little dusty, don't mind that. But yeah, and I'm thinking of putting this right up here somewhere um, and then just make the room look bigger or something. That's what I got from thrifting. Um, I have a little while until I need to get ready for my photo shoot, but I'm probably going to sit down, make some TikToks and whatnot, and just chill before I have to work.